everybody. As you know, I, I am your English teacher. So today we are going to learn how to uh, ubicate ourselves. And we will learn something about prepositions. And in addition, you will learn something about what will you do during this term. So the idea is that you have to take notes always on your notebook because it is really important to do it. So, chicos, el día de hoy vamos a aprender algo sobre el segundo periodo. Como ustedes bien lo saben, eh, la primera actividad del día de hoy va a corresponder a preposiciones y eh, tenemos que tener en cuenta todos los temas que vamos a abarcar durante este periodo. La idea es que pongamos mucha atención a lo que vamos a trabajar. Ok, don't forget that you have to make your logo paying attention on this and this. The idea is that you have to learn uh, or create your own logo. Speaking about USA using the Liberty Statue and speaking about Colombia using the flag. No se olviden que ustedes ya tuvieron que haber hecho el logo de la materia que es la Dama Libertad con la bandera de Colombia. Ok, now I will speak about the second term. We will learn this schedule will be what we will what we will do. So first of all, we have preposition that is the class for today. Give and follow instructions, comparative, superlatives, and actual activities. So the idea is that you have to write something about it, and then you have to learn it. Primero que todo, vamos a hablar del segundo periodo. Recuerden, deben marcar su cuaderno con el second term, como está aquí en la, en la presentación. Los temas que vamos a ver son los siguientes. Primero, preposiciones, dar y seguir instrucciones, comparativos, superlativos y actividades actuales. Esto teniendo en cuenta todo lo que vamos a trabajar durante este periodo, vamos a hacer una serie de actividades que van a tener en cuenta todos estos temas. So, first of all, what is a preposition? The idea is that you have to learn what is a preposition. So, a preposition is a word. It is used to link words, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Examples. Preposition of place. At. At college. At home. At reception. In. In a taxi. In a car. In the sky. In the building tower, in a row, in the newspaper. On, on the way, on the radio, on the page, on a bicycle. Una preposición es una palabra usada para unir sustantivos, pronombres o frases con otras palabras que no tienen una oración. Por ejemplo... At college, en el colegio. At home, en casa. In a taxi, en un taxi. On the way, en el camino. Ok, but before we start with our lesson, we have to learn something about places. It is really useful because you will learn and you have to use this vocabulary to express what we have to do. So, first of all, School. What is a school? You know, school is a escuela. Okay, on a second place, we have the telephone box. The, the telephone box is really, really common on uh, Europe and in Spanish is a cabina telefónica. Crossroads. When two roads had a cross, it's like that. Un cruce de avenidas. Car park. Un parqueadero de carros. Roundabout. Un giro eh, en círculo. Museum. 
museo, bus stop, una parada de bus, street lights, las luces de, de la calle, a factory, una empresa, garage, garaje, hotel, hotel, traffic light, semáforo, pedestrian crossing, cruce peatonal, the park, el parque, the bank, el banco, hospital, el hospital, railway station, eh, parada de tren, airport, airport, aeropuerto, stadium, estadio, house, where do you live on your house, en tu casa, ok, now, We have to speak about shops and places in a town. For example, a shoe shop, una zapatería, a cinema, un cine, a fire station, una estación de bomberos, news agent, el vendedor de, de periódicos, bakers o bakery, panadería, school, la escuela, restaurant, el restaurante, chemist o chemistry, farmacia, bank, as you know, banco, hospital, as you know, el hospital, supermarket, supermercado, butcher o butchery, carnicería. Ok. Pay, paying attention to everything, you know that you have to learn how to express the places in a town. Please take notes. Remember that this vocabulary is really important in this term. So, now we have to speak about the prepositions of place. We have to use these prepositions because we know that we have to learn how to say your ubication, your location. You have to say behind. Behind is when you have something and you have it behind. This es decir, cuando tienes algo que está detrás de otro objeto. For example, My pen is behind of my liquid. In front of. For example, I live in front of the school. Yo vivo al frente del colegio. Next to my Xbox is next to the Wi-Fi between when something is between is because it is in the middle of something en medio de near cerca above above volando por arriba below debajo debajo In, adentro, on, encima, under, debajo pero pegado. La diferencia entre este debajo y el below es que below es mucho más abajo que under. In front of, enfrente. Ok. Those prepositions are very important in this lesson because you know how to say uh, where you are. For example, you have to use the verb to be to say where I am. We have to speak first 
at all about the verb to be used. For example, you have this. First of all, you have the subject and then you have the verb. You know that you have first person, second person, third person, first person in a plural way, second person in a plural way, and third person in a plural way. The first person is with the verb am. He, she, it. You have to pay attention to those kind of sentences because they have a different con conjugation. The conjugation of the verb is is. Then you have to pay attention to this are. For example, where am I? I am here. Batman is between the music store and the restaurant. It is because it is in the middle of, of both places. Yes? Primero que todo, chicos, vean. Batman está en medio de la tienda de música y el restaurante. Otra, otro ejemplo. Where is the hospital? The hospital is behind the pet shop. El hospital está detrás de la veterinaria. Okay, let's continue with some examples. For example, where is the bank? We have a man. The bank is in front of the flower shop. ¿Dónde queda el banco? Entonces podemos decir dos oraciones. Que está al frente de la tienda de libros o que está enfrente de la tienda de, de, de flores. El banco está al frente de la floristería. Ok. The example that I do. Where is the toy store? Here is the man. Where is Batman? The toy store, or Batman, is between the music store and the restaurant. Okay. Where is the fast food restaurant? ¿Dónde queda el restaurante de comidas rápidas? El restaurante de comidas rápidas queda detrás de la escuela. It is behind to the school. Está detrás de la escuela. Where is the pet shop? Here. The pet shop. The pet shop is next to the supermarket. Now we have to speak about the homework. The homework is really easy. But you have to pay attention to everything that you have to do. The first one is that you have to create your, na your neighborhood map. What it means? That you have to create everything up around your house. There you have to write the shops, the stores that you have around your house, and your houses. Like on the example, like this. For example, I live here. So this is my neighborhood. Then, using the preposition on your map, you have to create 10 sentences like on the examples. Primero que todo, chicos, deben crear el mapa de su barrio o de su cuadra en el cual hayan tiendas en el cual hayan no sé por ejemplo el paradero del SITP eh, y toda esta cuestión y eh, lo deben mostrar en su cuaderno en segundo lugar usando preposiciones y el mapa deben crear 
10 oraciones como los ejemplos. ¿Cuáles ejemplos? Los que están aquí. Where is y el nombre del, del, de la tienda. Y ustedes dicen, la tienda está y ponen el resto de la oración. So, the idea is that you have to send it by the school's platform where you can do it. So, the idea is that you have to create something that is new because uh, the idea is that you have to create everything. You have to create your map. You have to create your own sentences because the idea is that you have to practice alone. So that's it. I have to say thank you for everything. Because as you know, it is a really important homework. So the idea is that you have to practice by yourself. And if you have some question, you have to ask for information to me. Thanks for everything. See you. No se olviden chicos que... Toda la actividad debe estar solucionada en su cuaderno. Por otra parte, las actividades deben ser creadas por ustedes. Es decir, el mapa debe ser creado por ustedes. Todas las oraciones deben ser creadas por ustedes. Yo no quiero tener inconvenientes con respecto a la entrega de talleres por eh, plagio. Ok, so thank you for everything and see you then. Bye.